गुड इवनिंग ऑल गुड इवनिंग सो सो एज वी टोल दैट as we discussed i mean as we uh, posted a message in the group so today we will be going with the revision class i mean uh, those who have joined newly for them like you know there might be an issue with uh, understanding the concept and you might be having an exam based on that same topic so i just plan to have a, a revision on the topic so how many of you want revision and uh, like you know first of all let us go with the doubts those who are having doubts let's go with uh, A discussion of discussion of those doubts. If you don't have doubt, like you no, know, shall we uh, straight away we'll go for the revision. Tell me, make it fast. Don't waste the time. Pick. Sir, sir, I've posted my doubt in the Vice app. Okay. What about others? Sir, I don't have any doubt, but I may have exam tomorrow, sir, on college. I'm okay. I think I'm faster, but I I have to practice more to get to it. Okay. So So in in of equation, whatever we done, I do, I do have no doubts. Sir. Very good, very good. good, so, has posted her doubt, so let us go with that. And those who are having doubt, please do post your uh, as well in your uh, I mean, the Vice app so that we can discuss, we can have a discussion. हेलो यस गाइस कैमी सो वन सेकंड हैव यू ऑल पोस्टेड द डाउट्स I'm asking you people only. Have you posted your doubts? So look at the question. So which question? Sixteen uh, alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. That question. Hello. Harini, are you? Yes. Here? Sorry. Yes, sir. That one. Okay. So if alpha and beta are the uh, zeros of the quadratic polynomial, this is. A, Okay, alpha plus beta is what? Minus b by a. So five by two, correct? Minus b by a is nothing but minus of minus plus. So five by two, beta. Correct, beta? All yes, sir. Product of the roots is what? C by a. So seven by two. Seven by two. Cool. So and uh, the polynomial. Then find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are this one. So we have to find out, beta, a quadratic polynomial which are having the zeros called this one. Zeros is nothing but roots here. So we have to find out the polynomial with the help of these roots. So sum of the roots is what beta now? Two alpha plus three beta plus two beta plus yes. three. Yes, exactly. He has given zeros here. So whenever you have such type of zeros, so finding a quadratic polynomial formula is what? X square minus sum of the roots. Sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots. Product of the roots, right? So x square minus sum. What is sum beta? Two alpha plus Three beta plus uh, sorry two yeah. beta. Everyone, yes. rest of the students, everyone is visiting the class, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so x square minus two alpha plus three alpha beta five alpha. Am I correct? So two alpha plus two uh, beta plus three beta is five beta. Correct, beta. So just sub multiply this. Two to the four alpha beta plus six alpha square plus uh, 
थ्री टू जा सिक्स थ्री टू जा सिक्स बीटा स्क्वायर सो प्लस नाइन अल्फा बीटा ओके सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ अल्फा बीटा So you, you have written both alphas. One is beta, one is alpha. Sorry. So you have written both alpha. So one is beta and one is alpha, right? One second, just a minute. In the last x square minus phi alpha plus phi beta, right? You have written phi alpha plus phi alpha. One second, one second. I think there is a. Yes. Where is that? Yeah, tell me where I wrote. So in the last step, phi alpha plus phi uh, alpha. अच्छा जो phi alpha plus phi beta ये ये ये. So I can take phi alpha common beta mean phi common so alpha plus beta here. So one second guys, I think I am not able to write this order. वन सेकंड गाइस Yes, children. There is a glitch from my end, actually. Yeah. Uh, yes, phi alpha plus beta. So what we can just look at this is add the like terms, beta. Now, so thirteen uh, alpha beta plus six times of alpha square plus beta square. Harini, correct, Harini? Yes, beta. Yes. So now look at this here. We know that we know one thing. Alpha. See, alpha plus beta value we know. Alpha beta value we know. But we do not know alpha square plus beta square, right? So alpha square plus beta square can also be written as alpha beta alpha plus beta whole square minus two alpha beta. Am I correct? Yes. This is a wonderful question actually. This type of questions only how to do beta. Very good doubt. So look at this. Alpha plus beta is what beta? Five by two whole square. 
minus two times of alpha beta is nothing but two by I mean two into seven by two. Correct. So twenty yes. five by four minus fourteen by two. Correct. I mean fourteen yes, by two. So what is LCM now? So twenty five minus twenty uh, eight by four. Correct. Isn't it? Minus three yes. by four. This is what alpha square plus beta square value. So now let us take this as star equation. Beta. From the star equation, can I substitute the values directly? From the star equation. So x square minus five times of alpha plus beta value is what? Five by two. Correct. My plus thirteen times of alpha beta value is what? Seven by two. Plus six into alpha square plus beta square value. We got minus three by four. Correct. Now if you solve this, you will get the your quadratic polynomial. That's it. So twenty five by two plus ninety one by two minus eighteen by four. Correct. So LCM is four x square minus fifty plus one eighty two minus eighteen uh, by four. Correct. Ah. So we need to find out because quadratic polynomial whose zero. This is a quadratic polynomial. We can just find it out. If you simplify this four x square, I mean x term we are missing it. X term where is x term? Here, 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 here. X we are missing. Here, X we are missing. Correct. X, X. So here X. So what is this term? Beta. This is fully X term. Correct. This is fully gives me X term. Okay. Let us one second. Let us write it properly. So. Uh, x square minus how much beta fifty one ninety one plus twenty five how much ninety one plus twenty five six one one six by two into x minus how much here nine by two so x square minus two ones two five two so fifty eight x beta minus nine by two this is your quadratic polynomial you leave as such that's it. This is your okay. quadratic polynomial. That's it. That's it. you can. You need not to do anything more than this. If you have any calculation mistake, that's it. Check it out. But apart from this, this is a concept. We have to make it out. Okay, beta. Cool. Very good doubt. Next, any doubt, beta? Actually, this question was there in the exam, sir. Oh lost. my goodness. Very good question, actually. See, this type of questions, uh, like you know, if anyone have a doubts from this uh, type of question, you can ask. And we have this type of same similar type of question. They have been asked in JEE 2020 paper as well. This type of sums they have been asked in JE 2020 as well. I, if I'm not wrong, we have solved such type of questions during quadratic this I mean quadratic I mean equation question. This type yes. of questions only they have asked. So we, for this type of questions, you have to remember this type of formulas. So, but uh, like without calculation mistakes, how to do it in the exam, sir? That's it. Each without calculation, see presence of mind, but I that's it. Presence of mind, it happens one or two times. Like you know, if you keep solving. If you are be focused while you're writing that, it will definitely it will happen. Okay, so this is the formula we just one use here, and sometimes we may use this type of formula as well. Alpha plus beta whole square is equal to what? Alpha plus sorry, alpha minus beta whole square. Alpha minus beta whole square plus four times of alpha beta. Correct? Yes. One second. Four times of alpha beta. Now, if I write alpha minus beta whole square, this also can be written as what? Alpha plus beta whole square minus four times of alpha beta. Okay, but now see if you simplify LHS equal to RHS, you will get correct. Very simple. They need not to remember this actually. Need not to remember these formulas. Actually, look at this. What I am doing here? A plus b whole square here. A, uh, here a a square plus b square minus two ab plus two ab. How much? I mean uh, plus four ab. Uh, so you will be getting again plus two ab only. So which is exactly matching with my LHS part. Correct. Now here alpha square plus beta square minus two alpha beta alpha square plus beta square minus, uh, plus two alpha beta minus two alpha beta again minus two alpha beta left side and got it. right side. So that is how this formula is very very important. So we got a concept. So I'm just telling you this formula as well. Very very important. We'll be using any time this formula. Okay. Cool. So any doubts apart from yes. this? Make it fast, children. Sir, can you explain about linear inequalities? Linear inequalities. Very very good doubt. Who is asking this? Sir, Ujjwal. Ujjwal, I think look at this here. Like uh, we will be uh, discussing in front of everyone that two is a better one, beta. The linear inequality is there is a beautiful method called wavy cow method. What is that, beta? Wavy cow method. So we will be using uh, this method for solving big inequalities, like you know big big functions. Let's say that you know you have x plus one, x minus two, x minus three, 
x minus 4 uh, greater than or equal to 0 how to solve this linear inequality sometimes they will you ask you take x plus 1 into x minus 2 whole divided by x minus 1 whole square or x minus 1 less than or equal to 0 solve for x solve for x i'll make this concept very simple i'm sure there is a beautiful method called wavy cow method we will discuss it for sure i'm I, even i am eager to teach you guys that but the thing yes. is like you know everyone is not present definitely you remind me in the next class tomorrow's class i am going to make that for sure yes 110 uh, yes so i have a doubt in today's uh, test sir okay we will discuss that as well that as well we will discuss look at this apart from qp discussion and apart from you know inequalities you ask me if you have any doubts so far whatever we have gone through this linear inequalities i can teach you now itself but the thing is like others have not joined so other will be missing that concept if i teach you guys now so getting my point yes. if i so yes. others like again i have to teach again and again so if everyone be there here i can teach them very neatly you understand my point cool yes sir yes tell me that's it sir. only linear inequalities and question papers that's it this that will be you know placed in the tomorrow's uh, class yes so yes. one second let me post a message if anyone joins so we can just uh, see this anything else guys So, yes, I asked people to join, but, you know, let's see those who are going to join. See, I'll tell you one uh, simple uh, thing better. Look at this here. Let us have a discussion on linear inequalities. But because, again, we may not get time. Like, you know, we have start, we are going to start with a new topic. So, let us have a glance on that topic. So, I just posted a message in the group. Let it be. No problem. Those who are missing out, let them join uh, and let them, uh, what do you call that? Uh, let them watch the recording if they miss the session. But, uh, like, you know, again, we will be discussing that. So do not worry. So yes. So better let us go with like first of all basics of linear inequalities. Okay, better. Linear inequalities. Yes. Everyone listen to me properly. This is very means very important. If you ask me to say thousand times important, also I would say one lakh times important. How that that important this topic is that much important for your JE means. For your JE means, I mean JE means you'll be writing off your 12th. After your 12th, you will be having a competitive exam called JE exam. All right, for your engineering enter that in that exam you will be using a lot. Next year also you'll be having a topic called linear inequalities in 11th standard. Those who are studying in CBSC beta, for you it will be a new. I mean it will be a topic. So definitely you'll be using and uh, there will be a topic called functions as well in for finding the domain and range of functions. We'll be using linear inequalities. So many ways. Like, you know, so many in so many uh, chapters, in so many concepts, we'll be using linear inequalities. So such a very interesting topic and such a you know, beautiful topics to watch on. So look at this now. Let us have a look at the linear inequalities. Basically, first of all, linear means having degree one. We know that inequality is nothing but what? Basically, what do you mean by inequality? Can anyone of you? Uh, not equal to. Not equal to. Mm -hmm, no. 
can i say beta comparing two expressions for suppose look at is 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 this is my linear equation now if at all i say 2x plus 3 less than 0 this is an expression this is also an expression i'm comparing these two expressions all right beta or else this expression also can be written as less than or equal to 0 or uh, 2x plus 3 greater than 0 2x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0 these all are linear inequalities do you agree with my point what i'm doing here here there are two expressions we have this is and this this and this this and this this and this we are comparing these two expressions all right whenever you compare two expressions or more than two expressions in that case we call them as linear inequalities basically linear in linear inequalities we play with less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to we play with these four symbols majorly we will be using these four symbols beta when where in linear inequalities you understood right what is inequality is nothing but basically comparing two expressions comparing the expressions i would say that yes comparing comparing the algebraic expressions algebraic expressions this is a basically very important topic all right guys so i'll tell you with a short course everything i make you uh, no clear in this topic be patient and listen to me properly each and every word whatever i deliver here please listen to me everyone listening right people hello are you all listening the class yes sir i need a response yes, from sir. each and every student presented over here yes good 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 yes 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 beta yes. so before getting into the inequality you must know the topic called intervals what is that intervals intervals is nothing but what intervals is nothing but what do you mean by intervals basically in our daily life we go movie we call interval interval is nothing but break understand my break in a daily language and a daily uh, usage uh, we say that interval is nothing but break okay so in school also you will have interval called break all right so in mathematics what do you mean by intervals basically intervals we represent with the brackets beta look at this all right so this is what closed bracket what is this beta closed bracket closed this is open bracket all right this is braces or else or one second braces or you say curly brackets curly brackets sometimes you call this as a flower bracket as well all right flower bracket isn't it looking like flower so flower bracket all right flower flower samajh rahe ho na flower matlab hello f l o w i wrote yes sir yes sir Uh, i wrote spelling somewhat different that's why i'm asking all right beta so now what exactly the meaning of all this okay so look at this here and uh, look at this let us discuss one by one what is the meaning of uh, this one by one see first suppose i if i give you the numbers called 1 comma 2 we will be writing the numbers in bracket like this 1 comma 2 clear so 1 comma 2 is nothing but beta what is the meaning of this i am including 1 including 1 and 2 what is the meaning of this i am including including 1 and 2 all right and also also in between values of 1 and 2 you understand my point so what i'm trying to say here close bracket 1 comma 2 is nothing but i'm including 1 2 at the same time in between values in between values nothing but 1.1 1.2 1.11 1.11119 1. 1.2000 1. all right 1.2009 all these values are including millions trillions millions i mean infinite number of values we are including between 1 and 2 as well so what is the meaning of this we are including 1 2 and also in between values of 1 and 2 you understand my point ha huh. sir what is the example can you give an example we didn't understand what do you mean by including not including okay let me tell you for suppose if i write this if i write like you know x lies between x lies between x lies between 1 and 2 okay beta what do you mean with this x lies between 1 and 2 here i have only less than x must be lesser than i mean uh, x must be greater than 1 but lesser than 2 
So what do you mean by this here? You are not including one here. If I keep something like equal symbol, if I keep something called equal symbol here, I am including here one is equal to x or one less than x. What do you, what is this symbol called? Less than or equal. What do you mean by this symbol called? Less than or equal. Understood my point? Clear? Any doubts? It x must be hello guys one must be lesser than or equal to x or you say x must be lesser than or equal to two. There are two meanings hidden. All right. What is the first bracket? What is the first circle denotes here? One lesser than or equal to x and the second circle says that x lesser than or equal to two, which is nothing but x lies between one and two. Here I am including one and two also. If I say simply like, if I say simply like, I'll tell you x lies between 1 and 2 is nothing but what beta x lies between 1 and 2 but we are not including 1 and 2 here i'm saying less than only i'm not saying less than or equal to if i say less than or equal to i will be including 1 and 2 as well all right here if i say simply like i'm including 1 and but not i mean uh, but not 2 here understand my point i'm including 1 here what i'm doing less than or equal to 1 less than or equal to x i'm including 1 but i'm not including 2 here understood my point understood my point Sir, what is including? We still yes, don't understand. I'll tell you. Beta, whenever you write solution, you after solving inequality, you will be writing your solution like this, like this, like this. Understood my point? Or like this. You will be writing your solutions by using brackets or by using, you know, uh, this type of inequalities. You will be writing your solution. When you write this type of solution after solving the given inequality to you. All right, people. After solving the inequality given to you, we will be writing our solution in the form of you know this way clear all right guys are you people able to understand or not tell me so we will solve the question it will be pretty clear with you all do you just do not worry you try to understand what do you mean by close bracket and open bracket close bracket is nothing but including we are including one and two as well in between values also we are including so getting my point huh so now for suppose one comma two if i write in open bracket what do you mean by open bracket here what do you mean by open bracket Only the values 1 and 2. Only the values 1 and 2. Wrong answer. Beta, except excluding 1 and 2, all in between values. What is that? Except 1 and 2, all in values. Excluding 1 and 2. Like 1.2, 1.0. All, all, yes, in between values. All right, beta, excluding 1 and 2. Except 1 and 2, all in between values 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.9, 1.7, 9, 9, so and so, so and so, so, so values. Understood my point. So all the values in between except 1 and 2. That is the meaning of open bracket. So can I, for suppose the solution which I wrote here. Now, when I write, when how can I write this? 1 less than or equal to x. What is the meaning of this? I'm not including 1 and 2. But in between values we are including. Correct? Yes or no? That is the meaning of this. Hello? Here x lies between 1 and 2 beta. x lies between 1 and 2. For suppose example, let me say that 0 0.5. Can I say 0 0.5 is lies between 1 and uh, uh, 5, it is wrong actually. We have to say 1.5. Can I say 1.5 lies between 1 and 2? Is it correct now? Yes, sir. Yes, yes 1.5 lies between 1 and 2. Yes, there is a correct statement. All right. So I'm talking about such type of, you know, solutions. So you do not worry. You just have an idea what is open, what is closed bracket. So while discussing the questions, you will be understanding pretty clear. Okay. Pretty clearly will be understanding during that time. Now you have an idea. What is this? Okay, now only if, if I say flower bracket one comma two, what do you mean by flower bracket one comma two? Only one comma two, no in between values, uh, nothing actually. Only one comma two. What does it mean with this? This is a set. That is a representation of set. Yes, it is set. All right. So here one comma two only one and two. All right, only one comma two. Nothing more than that. No including. I mean, no uh, in between values. No uh, other values than this. Okay, only in between values. Flower bracket one comma two is nothing but cool beta. Any doubts? Any doubts? Any doubts? You got it. No sir. Right. What is intervals? Uh, this is what called a closed interval, open interval, and flower bracket braces. That is what intervals. Now inequalities is nothing but we will be playing with four symbols called less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. We will be playing with these four symbols. Now I'll just tell you beta. There are types of inequalities. What are the types? types of inequalities you just be patient first time you are listening so it might be you know uh, looking somewhat odd but i'm sure it is very 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 good topic 
very means very good topic i'm telling again and again why important this topic is that beautiful topic very good topic actually so what are the types of topics you have so what are the types of inequalities you have beta we have two types of inequalities what is strict one is strict inequality another one is slack inequality what is that slack inequality all right so strict inequality is nothing but less than greater than slack inequality is nothing but less than or equal to greater than or equal to wherever i find these two symbols they comes under strict inequality wherever i find this less than or equal to greater than or equal to symbol i just say that they are uh, slack uh, they comes under slack inequality all right beta any doubts understood my point yes now look at it let me tell you let me tell you an example let's so, let us go with a uh, like simple example for suppose look at it here 2x plus 3 less than or equal to uh greater than zero this is what now slack in a strict inequality now let's say that 2x minus 9 less than zero less than or equal to zero this is what now slack inequality this is strict whenever i have less than greater than strict whenever i have less than or equal to greater than or equal to i would call that as slack inequality okay people yes now look at this here i'll just tell you you understood right what is the difference between uh, the slack and st strict inequality what is close bracket open bracket flower bracket i also call them as you know uh, uh, curly braces understood my point understood or not yes sir yes so now what we do is let us talk about rules after you know after a discussion of rules of inequalities we can sol solve the questions you will be understanding very very clearly rules of inequalities beta the rules of inequality what says first rule i would say that addition and subtraction addition and subtraction subtraction so for suppose you have a two numbers beta a b and a is greater than b let's say that a is greater than b all right a is greater than b you have okay if let a is greater than b you have what i have what is where a and b are what a and b are some real numbers real numbers all right beta you understood my point yes so now in case if i add any number called c on both sides this side this side if i any if i add any number called c what is the inequality changes whether the inequality going to change no but inequality is not going to change the symbol whatever the symbol you have here the same inequality it is going to be on both sides even yeah, you yeah. add even you subtract we will see an example don't worry all right so even you subtract even you subtract the inequality is not going to change when when you add or subtract a number on either of the sides inequality is not going to change if it is greater than beta it is going to remain greater than only if it is greater than or equal to it is remain greater than or equal to if it is less than it is remain less than or equal to if it is less than or equal to it is going to remain less than or equal to only sir why you to greater than or only why you to greater than only here why can't you take greater than or equal to you can take but nothing wrong with that let me tell you example look at this for suppose let's say 3 is greater than 2 or not do you agree with my point if i add let's say i'm adding one uh, i'm adding a number called 1 on both sides correct i'm adding a number i'm uh, uh, let's say i'm adding a number called 1 uh, on both so what happens now 4 3 still 4 greater than 3 or not correct or yes not? yes now let's say that one more example for suppose here 3 uh, is 3 is greater than 2 we took right let us subtract one on both sides i am i am subtracting one on both sides does it make a sense now all right still the inequality changes still the inequality what not changes look at here whatever we have the symbol same symbol i had here even you add subtract inequality is not going to change understood my point isn't it people ha huh. sir sir you are you are adding a number called c okay which is what greater than 0 here 1 1 is greater than 0 or not if i add a number which is greater than 0 on both sides inequality is not going to change sir what if you add a less than 0 number on both sides what happens here i added right look at this i added minus 1 on both sides what happens nothing is going to change let me say look at it 5 is greater than 4 let's say that let us add add minus 8 on both sides let's see whether the inequality changes or not okay 5 i'm adding what i'm adding what minus 8 on both sides okay uh, let's see 
plus of minus 8. So how much here? Minus 3, here minus 4. So which is greater now? Tell me. Which is greater now? Which is greater? Minus 3. Minus 3, minus three only. So do you think the inequality changes here? Hello? Do you think the inequality changes here? No. No, inequality is not changing. What inequality is nothing but better. This symbol I'm talking about. Even you add, subtract, any number you add, subtract, inequality remain going to same. Add or subtract, add or subtract, not only addition better. You can add, you can subtract, inequality says that I will not change the babu. I'm not going to change. Even you add, even you subtract, even you jump from the building, I'm not going to change. That is what inequality says. When, when you add and subtract. Getting my point, people? Yes, hope you got the clarity now. We have just uh, gone through very, very basic. Next, second, we'll talk about multiplication. Multiplication. Okay, multiplication. Cool. So, uh, here, multiplication we have, right? Huh. First, suppose you have a number again. Let's say that A is greater than B beta. Again, let me take A is greater than B. Cool. So what you are doing here, you are multiplying with a number called C on both sides. Understood my point? You are multiplying with C on both sides. So what is going to happen now? AC, BC. This is what is going to happen or not? Tell me. AC, BC. Now again, one second. AC. If you multiply with the same number on both sides, inequality is still not going to change. When it is not going to change, if at all, if at all C greater than 0. All right. If at all C greater than 0, inequality is not going to change. Whatever the inequality you wrote, that would be remain same. All right. If at all C less than 0, inequality changes. When? If C less than 0. If C less than 0, inequality changes. Sir, we didn't understand. Can you give an example so that we can understand it in neat manner? Very simple. Let me tell you. For example, I took 3 greater than 2. Am I correct? I'm multiplying with a number which is greater than 0. Let's say that 1. I'm multiplying with 1 on both sides. 1 is greater than 0 or not? Yes. So 3, 1s are 3, 2, 1s are 2. Still, inequality changes or not? No, it not changes. So here, what do you say? No change. No change in the inequality here. Change in the inequality. Change in the inequality. Change, no change is where? Where no change and change? Inequality, in the inequality. Okay. Okay. Now let me see another one more example. For suppose, look at this here. 3 greater than 2 I have given. Let us multiply with a number which is lesser than 0. Let us multiply with minus 1 on both sides. What happens now? Minus 3, minus 2. Which is greater now? Tell me. Which is greater now? Hello? Minus 3 greater, minus 2 greater. Which one? Are you here, children? Minus two. Minus two. Inequality changes or not? They go. Look at this. There is a change in the inequality. Change in the inequality. So what do you understood from this? When you multiply with a negative number on both sides, inequality always changes. When you multiply with a positive number on both sides, inequality never changes. No change. Understood my point? You have got an idea, right? Children, tell me now. Do you have any doubt so far? Do you have any doubt so far? You may feel free to ask. If you don't understand, if you want me to teach somewhat slow, I will teach somewhat slow. If you want me to go with the same pace, I'll go with the same pace. If you want me to go very slow, means I'll go very slow. If you want me to go, like if you want me to go somewhat fast, also I can go somewhat fast. If you want me to give few more examples, also I can give few more examples. Whatever you want me to do, I'll just ready to do that. Please. I need your suggestion. Any doubts? No, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. Hello? I can't hear anyone. Hello? Hello? 
Yes, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Multiplication you understood. Next, division. Division. For suppose, let's say that A is greater than B. A is greater than B. You are dividing with C on both sides. Let's say that you are dividing with C on either of the sides. What happens if you divide with C on both sides? Look at it. It's very simple. A by C, B by C. It is remain inequality is not going to change if C is greater than zero. Inequality going to change when inequality C is lesser than zero. Same thing. Same rule. Whatever the rule you have seen here. Same rule with the division as well. Look at this. Here, no change. No change. Where it will be not changing in the inequality. All right. There will be a change in the symbol. Huh. Let me tell you. Okay, beta. Like Very simple. Look at this. I'll tell you a simple example. You just say that you are, you know, four is greater than three. Example. Okay. So let us divide with one on both sides. One is greater than zero or not? Yes, I'm dividing with a positive number. So four by one, three by one, four by one is four, three by one is three. What are the inequality changes here? Simple, simple. I'm taking very simple for making you to understand. Any doubts? No, right? So whenever you multiply a number which is greater than zero, or whenever you divide with a number which is greater than zero, inequality is not going to change. Cool? Yes. Now let me just tell you one more example. For suppose four is greater than three. Same example. If I divide with a a number which is lesser than zero. Let's say that divide, let's divide with minus one on both sides. Minus one on both sides. Let's do this. Okay. Now what happens? Minus four, minus three. Which is greater yes, now? Minus one. three. Minus Check three low. All nice. right. So there is a change in the inequality when you divide with a, a number which is lesser than zero. Getting my point? Hello. Any yes. doubt? Very simple. Yeah, very simple. Yes, yeah, just very simple. Huh. So you understood, right? Huh. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure look at it. First of all, you know everyone, everyone knows this. 5 greater than 2. If I multiply with minus on both sides, what happens? Tell me. Minus 5, minus 2. Inequality changes. When? When you multiply with a minus on both sides, inequality always changes. When you add. All right, beta. When you add, subtract, inequality is not going to change. But when you multiply with negative sign, look at it here. When you multiply with a negative sign on both sides, what happens? This inequality greater than right it becomes less than okay. sir don't say that's a greater than why can't it become greater than or equal to but it's possible all right impossible all right so whenever you have greater than it becomes less than when when you multiply with a negative sign on both sides all right it's very simple if you want to write a note you can write i'll give a note here if you if you multiply Multi, multiply with negative sign on both sides, then the inequality changes. Example, I just told 5 is greater than 2. If you multiply with negative on both sides, inequality changes. Isn't it? Understood my point? Very simple. Any doubts? Any doubts? No, sir. Let's talk about reciprocals. Reciprocals make out that. Look at this. For suppose, again, let us take a sim uh, number called A greater than b okay what happens here reciprocal of a is what one by a reciprocal of b is what one by b okay when you reciprocal the number what happens inequality changes i'll tell you <coughs> excuse me See, when it would be the same, 
when the inequality would be the same when the inequality is going to change when you come when you come to reciprocal part when the inequality changes when the inequality remain going to be the same if a and b are having the same sign having the having the same sign okay if a and b <coughs> are opposite in sign let's see an example you will understand for suppose look at this here i have 5 beta i have 10 or right. you take 10 5 10 is greater than 5 or not uh, reciprocal of 10 is what 1 by 10 reciprocal of 5 is what 1 by 5 now 1 by 10 is nothing but what beta 0 0.1 1 uh, 1 by 5 is nothing but what beta 0 0.2 which is greater now 0 0.2 is greater or not hello Hello. When you reciprocal them, you are getting 1 by 10, 1 by 5. 1 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.1. 1 by 5 is nothing but 0 0.2. Correct? 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.1. Inequality changes or not? Guys, here, check Carlo. Look at this. A and B, both are positive. Both positive. When you have both same sign, it could be positive, it could be negative. The inequality always go to change let me give an one more example you will understand it in a well manner look at this here so you have you have let's take minus 10 minus 10 lesser than minus 5 okay what i told beta what i told inequality always changes look at this greater than i had here it become less than when when a and b are having the same sign it could be plus plus or it could be minus minus it always changes now look at this here. So here minus minus I have same sign or not again. We have a same sign, isn't it? So minus 1 by 10, minus 1 by 5. All right. Yes. Minus 1 by 10 is nothing but minus 0 0.1. Minus 1 by 5 is nothing but minus 0 0.2. Which is greater now? Minus 0 0.1 is greater. Inequality changes are not checked or low. Inequality changed here. Inequality changed here. When? When you have same sign, inequality is always going to change. Any doubts better tell me? Any doubts? Any doubts? No, sir. Here, both negative, both positive have. Both positive, both negative here. When you have same signs, inequality is not going to change. Okay. Now, let's say that 5 is greater than minus 10. Correct or not? 5 is greater than minus 10. Both are having opposite in sign or not? Opposite sign. Opposite signs. What happens now? Reciprocal is 1 by 5 minus 1 by 10. 1 by 5 is nothing but 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1. Inequality stays the same. No change in the inequality. Check Carlo. Understood my point? Children, any doubts? Hello, any doubts? No, sir. Inequality no, sir. stays the same when you have opposite in sign of A and B. So basically, these are the rules of inequality is better. You must know all these, you know, uh, basic, uh, you know, uh, basics of inequalities. So what we have learned in today's class, we have learned rules of inequalities and what is inequality, what are the types of inequalities. What do you mean by intervals, basically? We have learned all this. Now, let us solve a simple question and we'll leave the class, okay? Simple questions. Let us solve a simple question. Let's say that we are talking about linear, right? Linear inequality. So 2x plus 3, I would say that greater than 0. This is a question given to you. Solve the question given to you here is the first question. Solve this inequality. Solve this in solve this inequality is nothing but we need to write the possible values of x. We need to find out x. Correct? Huh. So what can I do now? Can I but I need to find out the value of x. We need to solve for x. For solving for x, for solving x, what I have to do? Adding minus 3 on both sides. Isn't it? So we can take any number. Look at this. I'll tell you one thing. We cannot take any number, beta. You have 3, right? You no, have to I'll be adding minus 3, sir. 
I'll tell you why do we need to add? I'll tell you. You will understand in a very very soon. You will understand now. Look at this. I'm subtracting. I'm you know I'm adding minus three on both sides. What happens? Minus three plus three will be getting cancelled. Two x less than minus three beta. Okay. And now I'm dividing. Dividing with what? Tell me now. Two on both sides. Isn't it? Ah. Now tell me. Two x by two greater than minus three by two. Two two gaya. So what you left with? X minus three by two. So, what you can say, x greater than minus three by two is your solution. Why did why did we add? Why did we add minus three only? Why did we divide Correct, the two only? Because that exactly. Because so, to remove that. Exactly. You understood that. Right? Even I didn't even I didn't even explain you. You understood that. So be patient. Whenever you solve this type of question, you will be automatically understand what happens over there. Cool. So to get x value, I'm just doing. To get rid of that x value, to get rid of the coefficient of x, what I have to do? I have to add something, subtract something, multiply something, divide something. If I do this, so I'll be getting my x value at last. That would be my final solution. Clear? Understood my point? Understood better now. So this is my possible values of x. Sir, x greater than minus three by two. You said. So what is the proof checking for this? Verification. Let's go with verification. Verification. What I got, what I got, x greater than minus three by two, which is nothing but x greater than minus one point five or not. So let's say that x value two. Let's take x value two. X value greater than minus uh, x value greater than one uh, point minus one point five or not. Tell me. Or else yes, you yes. take simple. Or else you take simple x value zero. X value is greater than zero or not? I mean, uh, x value is greater than minus one point five or not? Tell me. Here zero is greater than minus one point five. Beta. I took one zero and verifying it. Substitute here now two into zero plus three greater than zero. Chalo zero plus three greater than zero. Yes, still three is greater than zero or not? Verified or not? Verified or not? Yes, we are getting valid answer. So which means the answer whichever I got that is correct. Any sir, why did you take zero and substituting here? You take x value one, x value two. Any value you take which is greater than minus one point five. You take x value minus one and substitute. Who asked you to not to do that? Who asked you to not substitute minus one? Who asked you to not substitute zero? Who asked you to not substitute one? You substitute whatever the value you want, but that should be greater than minus one point five. Take substitute, verify, and just confirm it. Your answer. Cool. So this is your uh, final, uh, you know, uh, uh, question of the day. So tomorrow's class we will be going with a uh, few more questions. Yes, make it fast. I have sir, class. Yes. Sir, in today's test. Sir, make it fast, Nihal. Yes, yes. Sir, in today's test, they gave infinite symbol, no, sir. In that question, how to do solve that? I'll teach that in tomorrow's class. Don't worry. Okay. Sir, in last test also, some questions given as infinite symbol. Got it. Got it. <laughs> It's a machine generated paper, so it might have came by mistake. No problem. We'll remove them and we'll give the marks accordingly. I'll teach them also. Very simple. Don't worry. I'll make you understand very simply. Those who have not understood, guys, please go through this recording lecture again, revise it, and come to me. Okay? Haniya ji, any doubts? No, sir. Ujjwal, Harshil, Krishna. No, sir. Arun. No, sir. ट्रेन यस नो डाउट करण्या ओके थैंक यू बेटा गुड बाय थैंक यू सर